Dear colleagues, thank you very much for inviting me for this uh, conference. And I will present to you the early consideration of the legionellosis risk in France, why we have uh, which measure were taken and the results we obtain. So I am sorry. I am Philippe Arteman, a distinguished professor of uh, the Nancy School of Medicine, and I was uh, previously past chairman of the European Scientific Committee Skenir in Brussels, and I am also the past president of the French Society for Hospital Hygiene, and I do not have any conflict of interest to declare. So through the presentation, we will have first uh, some uh, historical uh, information. Then I will try to present the risk assessment performed for driving a strategy for preventing legionellosis outbreaks. Then we will see the French prevention strategy, the results, and then go to some conclusions. So firstly, historical view. So before the 80s, the, for drinking water treatment, the word sterilization was wrongly used uh, when water, drinking water was treated with chlorine. So that means everyone was convinced uh, the water was sterile. The distribution network was a black box and biofilm was quite ignored. And so in hospitals, we use only tap water and what, we, what was called sterile water, which was not really sterile in most of the case. So since this period, it was an evolution. We know potable drinking water may contain hazardous microorganisms for patients and able to induce waterborne healthcare associated infection. So we have also now a lot of of consideration about the different water use for cares, the different opportunistic pathogens, the interaction inside biofilm, and the status of immunosuppressed patients, which is very, very important. And for cooling towers, even in presence of low residual disinfectant, water is also contaminated with biofilm. So now everyone is clear with this information. So, in France, we began very early uh, to combat legionellosis because of two events. The first one uh, is uh, during the World Football Cup in Paris in 80. In 98, was a small legionellosis outbreak due to a cooling tower, but it was not really uh, important and the media didn't know uh, this incident. What was more important is the story of the hospital Georges Pompidou, which was the most modern hospital in Europe at this time. And after the opening ceremony in September 2000, three months later appeared some case of legionellosis. From, this, from December to June, uh, 11 patients were recorded and uh, with five fatal issues. I was in charge uh, of the working group to uh, investigate this outbreak and this turned into a scandal, public scandal, because some defects were evidenced in the hot water distribution system with, which, with uh, stagnation, inadequate temperature, bad pipes, and so on. And so I recommend at this time, for the first time, a large use of point of use filters. The court decided they were character, characterized fault and a lot of uh, negligence. Many other outbreaks were described on the same time in Europe. And as a consequence, in France, it was an intense pressure from patient association and media. And the Minister of Health said to me, we shall never see it again. Do what you want. So for this reason, there were numerous and successive regulations for legionellosis prevention published since 1998. And also a creation of uh, ad hoc working groups for on water quality in healthcare settings, 
in France, but also in different European countries with a scientific exchange between experts. And in France, we published a water grid, that means water guidelines for healthcare settings in 2005, but it was uh, written uh, some years before. So this is the cover of uh, this guide and what is inside we decide to give information to the people about the most important hazards and sanitary risks linked to water in hospitals, how to organize a global approach for the management of the quality of water. We decide to categorize uh, different kinds of water and for their uses. It was also important to give knowledge to, of the installation and the principal modes of failure linked to water distribution, how to realize the water distribution networks and how to maintain uh, these uh, networks. So after this uh, information, we, at the same time, we have tried to make a risk assessment process for driving a strategy for preventing legionellosis, taking into account epidemiological surveillance, control measures, analysis, and mandatory uh, reporting. At this moment, in absence of uh, reliable data related to risk assessment for the patient, it was not possible to use only one numerical value for the limit concentration of a microbiological parameter. So, and because taking into account uncertainties due to some uh, enumeration, there is no real difference between two results differing from around 50%. So that means we may not use, as we say in French, a guillotine parameters, for example, 1000 uh, UFC per liter. If it is 99, it's perfect. If it is 1001, it's uh, bad for uh, the tribunal. So for this reason, for scientific and legal reason, we define a target level. This is like a green light, an alert level, orange, and a maximal admissible level, red light. So it has been done 20 years ago. It was for each parameter, and especially for Legionella pneumophila, we propose uh, these three levels, and also we take into account uh, the immune exposed patients. That means there were six levels to be applied in one hospital. So there are some inconvenience. It's not so simple for people to, to understand what does it means, and it is not always easy to apply. For example, is the patient at risk or not? So that means which kind of uh, uh, level we it's necessary to use. But it's, there are some advantages. It is very pragmatical and uh, a low pedagogical approach and a medical legal protection. Uh, remain it remain always now uh, which analytical method and numerical criterion to be used. So now we will describe uh, as a third part the French prevention strategy, which is water safety plans in hospitals and also in cooling tower. And now uh, in each country, there are the same safety plans used. For example, how to control the proliferation of Legionella in distribution network. So, we use uh, temperature, so hot water is introduced in a loop of distribution at around 60 degrees Celsius with a return 55 degrees Celsius. But this is uh, only one way to obtain uh, water without uh, Legionella, but this induces a risk of burns, which make uh, mandatory uh, mitigation taps. The cold water distribution network has to be maintained below 25 degrees Celsius. We have also to increase the level of sample analysis with a regular mandatory sampling for Legionella pneumophila of critical points. We have also to make preventive measures if unused network, for example, during the holidays. And for immunocompromised patients, we decide to uh, generalize the use of point of use filters because we saw that continuous disinfection was rarely efficient. So that means you have a theme, if the threshold is exceed, 
it was necessary to implement uh, corrective action to secure uh, the point of use by filter if necessary and to restore the microbiological quality of water. So we discussed with other European countries, as you can see on this uh, slide, uh, the level, target level are quite the same in France, Germany, Netherlands, United Kingdom or Italy, which is not present on this slide. So we decided also to create a new quality of water in hospitals, which was called bacteriology controlled water. This is a water which is uh, treated for the care for the high risk patients, which are severely immunocompromised, like after organ transplantation or immunosuppressed by prolonged corticosteroid therapy and which need a specific quality of water for care, showering and so on. And until now, the best way to obtain this quality of water is uh, the point of use uh, filtration. We decide also to make mandatory uh, maintenance in uh, hospitals, but also for cooling towers with a specific team dedicated to the follow up of the water quality with the HACCP system, including a sanitary book and definition of critical points and critical values. Of course, some analytical controls for these uh, critical points. And in some European countries like France, but also Germany, Great Britain, and so on, it's necessary to report all this data to the local public health administration with eventual inspection if they think it's not correct. For minimizing the risk liability in hospitals, so uh, we edicted some uh, regulation, and, and so we don't have time to discuss about each, each point. But for example, environmental testing must be made in the presence of suspected or confirmed uh, disease case. And it is also necessary to confirm serotype match between the potential source water and claimant patient in this case. Now the results, what we obtain after two decades. So we know inlet water, that means drinking water with a good chemical and physical quality is absolutely necessary, both for hot water networks and cooling towers. Of course, necessary to have a well-designed and maintained network. To organize brainstorming on the different use and adequate organization for preparing water safety plans in all public buildings and cooling towers. It's not only hospitals, it's in all buildings since now more than 10 years. To organize routine monitoring to target the primary pathogen, in this case, Legionella plumophila, but it could be another pathogen, for its, because it is important for maximizing public health value and minimizing uh, unnecessary remedy. We discover that chemical disinfection is often only a temporary solution in water networks, but this is in this part of course, for cooling towers. And what is the most important is the collaboration of each member of the staff and also necessary to have a long way to go before seeing positive epidemiological results. For example, in France, we have no new natural allosis outbreak in hospitals for more than 10 years, but it was necessary to spend 10 years for obtaining this result. So if we are Comparing the evolution in France, Europe, and US. So the incidence of legionellosis is now stabilized in France with a gradient of incidence from the S to the West, and you will see the figure. There is a contrasting situation between uh, countries at the European scale. And as you certainly know, incidence is still on rise in the US. So this is here the record of uh, the number of legionellosis cases in France since now three, three decades. And at the beginning, uh, the, since the mandatory reporting uh, was instituted, uh, 
there were quite no case declared. When we got this incidence uh, outbreak in uh, Pompidou and uh, some uh, uh, case uh, with uh, cooling towers, so you see a very important rise of declaration of case. So in 2005, all regulations were put into force and the guide was published. And you see, since this period, we have a plateau with some years more uh, important uh, incidents, but globally, this is a plateau. And from the first period to the third period, we increase the number of cases for a factor four. What is not yet clear, is uh, the gradient of incidence between the west, light blue, to the east part of France, with especially this region, uh, Provence, Alpes, Côte d'Azur. And we don't know why. There are probably several factors. Is the existence of wind, which is normally coming from the west. And uh, that means in this region, there are probably uh, more uh, transfer uh, in the air in the uh, Côte d'Azur are probably a lot, a lot, because it's a very hot region, a lot of cooling towers, which are uh, surveyed, but it's probably not uh, sufficient. So in the US, as you can see, during this period, there is a rise of the case by a factor 10, and I think the US will uh, really soon uh, see the uh, same plateau as we saw in France. What next? Uh, we have now to apply the new European drinking water directive uh, and each country has to follow this after a, a discussion and taking into account uh, our experience we it is proposed for France to maintain Legionella pneumophila numeration as the main parameter for all public buildings and cooling towers. It's interesting to note that Legionella SP was the parameter for cities at the beginning uh, during a decade before we change after this decade for Legionella pneumophila, considering this uh, parameter as more predictive than Legionella species. So that means we will not be back. And we will introduce Legionella species numeration in healthcare settings together with Legionella pneumophila to reinforce the protection of uh, the, the most immunocompromised uh, patient with uh, limit value, which is the detection uh, limit. So thank you for your attention. And if you have some question, I am ready for answering this question.